comment. You understand? Very unbearable one. Hmm. And uh, you see, Lord Krishna was in their family relationship as cousin brother of Shishupa. You understand? Cousin brother of Shishupa. Eh? It is mentioned in Sri Mahabharata when Shishupa was born, took his bath, he had three eyes. Hmm? Three eyes and four arms, you see. Four arms and three eyes, three eyes. A very strange child. You understand? A very strange child. So the parents thought of this is a strange child. Three eyes, four arms. What is this? How we look? Let us throw it away. There's some aerial voice came. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. You just go on touching your body, this gift, your body, this child. Huh? And if you find by the touch of someone, its third eye will disappear and two hands will disappear, you should know that he will be killed by. His hands. You understand? So when the child was born, it's general custom, etiquette, a general principle that people perform some ceremony, new birth, yes, birth ceremony. So ceremony was being performed as Krishna was there in family relationship. So Krishna was invited there. So he had gone there. So Shishupa's mother, just handing over, was handing over the child to each one present there in that ceremony. So when he handed over the child, so he handed over the child, Lord Krishna, so his third eye disappeared and two hands disappeared. Then they could understand that this, this child will be killed by Krishna, vast by Krishna. You understand? That is Mahabharata. Hmm? Then our mother requested Krishna, please don't kill my child. Krishna said, what shall I do? If it is destined, it must take place. What shall I do? I am undone. I cannot do anything <laughs> like that. The mention is that. Anyhow, mm. that is about why he acted like enemy. Eh? But Krishna, the supreme person, also got it. You know it, isn't it? Yesterday I was describing eh? why those two associates, joy and be joy. Eh? took birth here in this material world as Rakshasas, and how if birth they acted like enemy, was the Supreme Personality about it. And if birth, how they were killed by the Supreme Personality about it. And how and why this last birth, the mercy in the body of Krishna, why not in previous births? That's what they are described, hmm? quoting the episode from Paddha Puran, hmm? the discourses between Paratramani and Maitramani, isn't it? So you understood it. Hmm. Here, one significant point is here, there. Vairana Vandhena, he says. Acting like the Lord's enemy is also beneficial for the living entity. Kama dvesa dvayat snehat. Whether in lusty desire, anger, fear, or envy, or there are somehow or other, as recommended by Srila Rupa Goswami, tasmat kena api rupena, 
one should become attached to the Supreme Personality Godhead, ultimately achieve the goal of returning home back to Godhead. What then is to be said of one who is related to the Supreme Personality Godhead as servant, friend, father, mother, or conjugal love? You understand? Srila hmm. Rupa Goswami says, Tasmat ke nati upayama. One should become attached to the Supreme Person of Godhead. Huh? And anyway, Tasma Kama Vesa Bhaya Nihar. Whether you love to desire, anger, fear, or enemy, somehow or other. You understand? It is beneficial. Because a living entity, constitutionally, is Krishna, eternal servant. Jeevar Surupa Hoy, you understand? He has eternal relationship with Krishna. Every living entity is eternally related to Krishna. In Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said that, Navaamsa Jeeva Loke Jeeva Bhuta, Sanatana. Jeeva is eternally my fundamental part. Hmm? So, there is eternal relationship. There are five principal relationships. You understand? You know that? What is that? Santa, Dasya, Sakya, Vatsalya, and Madhurya. You understand? There's five principal relationships, or five principal melo, we say, Rasuva Manda. Hmm. Five principal melos. And there are seven secondary, the sum total twelve. You understand? But these are there five principal relations. Santa Dasya, Satya, Vatsalya, and Mahadhyaya. You understand? So anyhow, every living entity has this relationship with the Supreme Law. Either Santa Bhav, in Santa Bhav, Dasya Bhav, Dasya Bhav means a servant, hmm? Santa Dasya, Sakya as a friend, Vatsalya as child, hmm? parental, or Madhya as wife, love or beloved relation. You understand? And it is saying, Krishna Mukhya Samandha, several lessons, principal lessons with Krishna. Ekamatra Samandha, only relation. You understand? But conditioned soul has forgotten this thing, been captured by Maya. Yeah? Because Maya business is to take the living entity away from Krishna, still create obstruction, hindrances in the path of devotional service, a path leading to Krishna. You understand? So never allow a living entity to approach Krishna. You understand? But the living entity one is very intelligent. One who knows this thing, that my eternal relationship with this Krishna I am only related to Krishna, not with any other body, isn't it? So he must kick Maya. Get out of here! Nanam jai prabhadanti maya me tam paranti. Krishna says this thing in Srimad Bhavita. Daya hesa guna mai mama maya durutteya. You see? 
Не знаю. Зиле дори нарди. Он салман е. Дебери деби гал. Това е камха. На той зити. До. Зиле дори нарди. И лар. Стонавар. Инвириар нарди. Стел. Зери. Паслена. Huh? You cannot do this. You cannot overcome this energy. But in your own strength, you understand? My is so powerful. Huh? She has defeated even Lord Brahma, even Lord Shiva. Great sages. We saw Mr. Moon, you see. Yeah? The TV show. This time it's a money has defeated, you see. So much, so much powerful energy, the inferior. Abhagana Sagadana Padiyasi is not key, it has been said. Abhagana Sagadana Padiyasi is not key. That energy is very expert, Padiyasi. Padiyasi means expert. By creating, in creating, Aghatana Sagatana. You understand? That means. Huh? So make something impossible, possible and possible, impossible. That's one sense, not correct one. No. I am cannot appreciate it. She can make soap appear as a soap. And also appear as soft. This is correct. Abhorta no sagatana You understand? So, a conditioned soul accepts here, being conditioned by Maya, accepts here every soft as soft. And every soft as soft. You understand? This is the result of Maya's action. Hmm? That's what condition the soul thinks of this body to be self. It's not real. We are not body. We are still soul. Isn't it? But it thinks man is body. Body is itself. Nasima Bhagavan says, Jashatma Buddhi Kuna Peti Dhatki Sri Kakari Slamidjadi. The tirtha buddhi salira nakari tijjane so begin su saiba go kara. You see? Yeah? Sinad Harbi. An impartial scripture. You see? Impartial. He never looks at the face of Krishna Sira or the master or the kingdom or that or that or that. Oh, he is my friend. I want to speak like this. It will mm, hurt him. No, no. Very important. You understand? But you see, Dr. Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada Nara say, if all the books will be destroyed from the library of the world, there will be no harm if only Bhagavatam is there. You see? Eh? To such a fact. In any language of the world, such a shastra, scripture, has not been written. Do you understand? Because the Srimad Bhagavatam is not an ordinary book. Do you understand? Krishna Tulya Bhagavata Vibhusarva. Huh? Is that good as Krishna? Do you understand? This is Krishna's Bani Rupa, Bani incarnation. Do you understand? And it is like this, it is Krishna is Vibhu. And this Bani Rupa of Krishna, that is the Srimad Bhagavan is also Vibhu. Like Supreme Lord. I'll also take shelter 
not aspect of the Supreme Lord, also takes out of Srimad Bhagavad. It's non different. Eh? How to say, how to say that the Srimad Bhagavatam is not compiled with anybody? Do you understand? It is so, it is essence of all Vedic literatures. Mm. Here it is said in Chaitanya Bhagavata. Bhagavato Shastri Sivo Hero Tattva Kohe Incarnation, fertilized incarnation, the Lord, they come, they appear here, then disappear. Similarly, Bhagavad appears, then disappears. It is never written by anybody. Because it is Vibhu Vastu. You understand? It is as good as Krishna. It is not different from Krishna. It is said. The most impartial scripture. Mm. So, Srimad Bhagavad says, I was quoting that verse. Jasyatma buddhi kuna peti dhati ke swadhi kalpari se bhumiti. Jatitha buddhi na kalere salele kari chiddhane shabhi ke su shaiva gokha. Do you know it? Yes. 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 One thing you said, don't you? Jasyatma buddhi kuna peti dhati ke. Sodhi kala kari su bhavu ijyan. Jatitha buddhi na sarile kari ji jane su bhavu ijyan su sarada ko kara. One thinks this kuna pa as well. Kuna pa means a bag filled with three things. Kapha vato pita. You understand? Kapha vato pita you know? Yes. Kapha vato pita. Yes. Kapha vato pita. This body is like a bag, it's filled with three elements, this cup of bath of people. And think this bag as well, he is like an asarka. Again, the shāpanta dhīkuna pēti dhāti, sodhīkuna tradi zubhamitya. 
one thing, the things of the persons who are related to this body are mine, and not related to oh, others, others, others. Paro o paro. You understand? You understand? Paro o paro. Eh? Mine and others. He does like a car and cars. You understand? So he called Radhi is Mamit Jadi. So he, eh? the body relations is friends, son, daughters, wife, like that. Mine, mine, mine. Eh? And it is not related to what? Oh, some other children, or some other wife, or some other friend. That is a mind. My friend, my wife, my child, like that. <coughs> it is also like that. Huh? So he goes, Rādhi is Bhavmijyadi. Then again, Bhavmijyadi. One of the things that you say, the land in which this body is born is a sipeva. Never said, Krishna is a sipeva, only a sipeva deity. He never said this. Huh? He is like that. The cow or the horse. Eh? Again, Jatirtha buddhi sarire na karichis. Eh? Jatirtha buddhi sarire na karichis. Do you understand? Have you gone to any Tirtha? No. Vrinda. Yes. Why do you go there? Krishna's land. Yeah? Krishna's land. Krishna's land. Oh, Krishna's land. And this land is not Krishna. <laughs> Every land, everything lost to Krishna. <laughs> Do you understand? This is an illusion. Jatir Prabhupti, Salire Karichis. People generally go to Satir Prasthana, places of pilgrimage. Huh? Why? To have a dip in that Jamuna river. In Vrindavan, Jamuna is there, have a dip. All right, now we will purify of all sinful reactions. Let us leave our all sins here. <laughs> all sins. Only <coughs> this notion. You understand? If someone has such thing, such idea, such impression, such conception, that to live since in some tirtha, just go there and have baby, they are like that. He calls on us. <laughs> Do you understand? All right. If the sinful persons will go to some such Vrindavan or Mathura, like Kasi, like some hmm, tirtha sana, where such people can just live there. Since they are. The sins will be going on accumulating, accumulating, accumulating like Himalayan mountain, Baba. <laughs> How will that place be a Tirtha? The most sinful place now. So much sins have been accumulated there. So many sinful persons have come here and just left there. Have left their sins here. How it becomes Tirtha? Do you know? When the stages of saints become, they take the burden of the purified place. Oh, that's important thing. Tirtha Pala, Sadhu Sangha. Tirtha Pala, Sadhu Sangha, you see. The place has become Tirtha because of the presence of sadhus. Tirthi kurvanti tirthani. You see, this has been said in Srimad Bhagavatam. Eh? Tirthi kurvanti tirthani. Only sadhus go there, how the place will be tirtha. Because all sinful persons are just living their sins there. You understand? So, only by the presence of the sadhus, all the sins 
have been contracted, destroyed. So the place has become safer. This is most important. Jahat sadhu paha tirtha. You understand? Wherever there is a sadhu, that is a tirtha. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, that's the only place of Krishna. Vrindavan is not place of Krishna. Jaha sadhu paha tirtha. Wherever there is sadhu, there is tirtha. Isn't it? This is most important. If someone goes to such a place of pilgrimage and never meets a sadhu, never does association sadhu, he is like that. Only goes there for having a deep. He is like cow and ass. You see, I have said so many things. Who is cow and ass? <laughs> you understand now? Yes. Now I'll speak something on this uh, rasha, this mellow, mm. the relationship. Mm. You see, there are different mellows, I say. Five men, Santo, Dasya, Sakya, Vashalya. Mm, but in Mahaprabhu's mm, dhara process, Mahaprabhu has discarded Santo. Chari bhava bhakti dhyan achamu bhava, Mahaprabhu says. Chari bhava. Dasya, Sakya, Vashalya, Mahaprabhu. Dasya, Sakya, Vashalya. No Santo. Do you understand? Mahaprabhu has discarded Santa. Why? Do you know? Do you know? Huh? Because it's uh, yes. not a loving misapplication of Krishna. Huh? It's not a loving misapplication of Krishna. Yeah. There is no loving relationship with Krishna. Sumatha, I am Sri Chaitanya Samatha, says, Sante raso bhago krishni mamata gondho kiyo Sante raso bhago Tanta says this thing. Therefore, Mahaprabhu has discarded Santa. No Santa. All say, all say, Om Santi, Santi, Santi. <laughs> but we Vaishnava say, No Santi. <laughs> you understand? Because Santero Sabhava Krishna Mota Gundo, you know. There is no loving relationship in Santa. You understand? Param Brahma Paramatma Jnan Prabhi. Jnan is predominating there. You understand? Knowledge, Jnan. Huh? Opulent and knowledge. Jnan and Aishwarya is there. They say Param Brahma Paramatma. Those who are Santa Bhakta, they say Param Brahma Paramatma. They never say Krishna. Ram. They never say this thing. There are two types of names of Lord. What are they? Primary. Huh? Primary and secondary. Primary and secondary? What is primary? What is secondary? Like you can say God, huh? Almighty. Huh? Then you can call him by name Krishna Ram. Yes. Generic specific. We say generic specific. Yes. Param Brahma Paramatma. God, as you say, generic, generally. 
There is no loving relationship. No specificness, Krishna, Ram, Nushin, Mama, like that. You understand? Specific names. And that's the relationship. Therefore, Santosh is discarded in Mahaprabhu way. Teachings. Santosh Shabhav Krishna Mama Tagun Vajina Param Brahma Paramatma Jnan Prabhu. You understand? You understand? Yes. Now I'll say about this five, according to five men mellows, there are five relationships. That is described in Chaitanya Chaitamata. Bhakta Bhede Roti Bhede Pancho Koro Karo Bhakta Bhede Roti Bhede Those are related with sakyaras, friendship. 
भीम अर्जुन एंड ऑल्सो श्री रामादि कावड़ बॉय मेंस्टाइन बात से लोग तो माता पिता जो तो गुरु जन देवकी वसुदेव नंद जोशोदा the parents of krishna the vasal of the current of the madhura rasa bhakta mukhya praje gopi gana the gopi dam sar to braj bhumi the most famous madhur bhakta understand huh mahishi gana lakshmi gana asankhya guna mora the wives of krishna in dwarka rukmini satyabhama jambavati sa 6000 wives lakshmi gana thousand to lakshmi lakshmi sa dosa sambhram de pamaru kudin de ha they are also in this conjugal law but that is love of gopi and of me so lakshmi my sis then say Is that? No, I'm happy. You are happy, sir. Huh? Happy, sir. Five minutes continue. <laughs> Because of his going, people are there. It's nine thirty now. Don't stand. It's a long topic. I'm very black area. <laughs> I don't want to part with. Then I part.
Basing on opulence and gyan, ananda is no isodja gyan, only love. Pure love. Shuddha. Kebala. You understand? That's known as kebala. Gokule kebala roti isodja gyan o kino. In Goku, in Dratukumi, there is no gyan o isodja. You understand? This is only kebala. Pure love. Pure Saksha, pure Vasalya, pure Madhuri. You understand? Mm. Goku, Brahma, Dhumi. Mm. Puri Dwaya Vaikita De Aishwadya Prabhi. Puri Dwaya means in Mathura Puri and in Dwarka Puri. And in Vaikuntha, there is Aishwadya and Jyam. Aishwadya, opulence. You understand? Therefore, it is said, Krishna is complete, Purna, in Dvarga. You understand? And Purna Tara in Mathura. And Purna Tara in Vrindavan. Vrindavan, you see. You understand? Complete, more complete, and most complete. Purna, Purna Tara, Purna Tama. Positive degree, comparative degree, and superlative degree. You understand? Huh? Complete, more complete, and most complete. So Krishna is Purna, complete, in Dvaraka. More complete, in Madhura. Most complete in Vrajpur. You understand? That's what it is said. Because it's pure. There's no tinge of jyam and isodya in Vrajpur. Puri Dvaya Vaikundarja, isodya pradhan. Isodya jnana pradhan is ankuchi to priti. Dekhile namane isodya kevala priti. If there is isodya and jnana, Opulence and knowledge mixed in the relationship, then the pretty, the love is contracted. Sankuti the pretty. You understand? It's contracted. You understand me? They kill an amana or soja kevala or riti. But kevala, that means pure relationship. Without Jnana and Isorja, it's broad. You understand? It's not contracted, it's broad. And then some examples have been given. Sakhya Vasalya Madhura Vasya Sankochana. Vasudeva Devakira Krishna Sahana Mandila. 
ऐश्वर्य ज्ञान तुम्हार मन भय वसुदेव एंड देव की दे हाव दिस बैचलर ऑफ इजंट इट बट इट इज मिक्स्ड विद ज्ञान एंड ऐश्वर्य सो दे अफर बेस सेंसेस एंड टू कृष्ण एंड वासुदेव व्हेन ही अपीयर इन द प्रिजन हाउस ऑफ कंशा एंड वासुदेव 400 पर वासुदेव एंड देव की अफर प्रेयर एंड फेड ऑफ बेस सेंसेस इजंट इट बिकॉज That was the rasa is mixed with jnana and aishwarya. Do you understand? But Nanda and Jasoda had never done so. Jasoda Rani binds up Krishna, isn't it? Shubha bhave, Brajeshwari karoi bondho. You see, Shubha bhave, Brajeshwari karoi bondho. Brajeshwari Jasoda Nanda. She binds Krishna hmm? in twin. जसदा सांख्य जोगी They also speculate or speak Gyan, eh? They cultivate Gyan on him, Sankhya Yoga, eh? Sankhya Yogi, the certain meditate, the so meditative Yogi, the meditate on Paramatma Sahib. You understand? Sankhya Yogi is the Satyadi. Satyadi means the devotee, the upper prayers, eh? That Lord Hari. Jasla Mata said, "Samanya Tatma ka ho. He is my soul. You see, he is my soul. How pure. You understand? Samanya Tatma ka. Huh? Then who dhava ke? Huh? Nanda, Brahma Bhumi, carrying the message of Krishna from Mathura. Isn't it? Hmm? And he saw that Nanda and Dasoda, Gopi, were feeling the pangs of separation from Krishna. You understand? They have become skinny. They have given up eating, sleeping. You see, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Just huh? the Rani was always thinking, "Oh, this cradle is here, this bed is here. I have prepared so many nice food for Krishna. Makhan is here, Misri is here. Huh? Who will eat it? Who will sleep in this bed? Huh? You see? Huh? I want to put you all in a pure 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 pure." देवी माय सन कृष्ण Stop this nonsense! This is Jan. Don't say. You don't stop this nonsense. He is my son. Your Param Brahma is my son. <laughs> you see, it's pure. Don't say. It's pure. Not in the Jan and I saw the year. Hmm? 
रुक्मिणी एंड सत्य भावना दे आर इन कंजुगल लाफ बट दैट्स मिस्टर ऑफ ज्ञान एंड ऐश्वर्य सो दे आर अफ्रेड वंस देयर इज अ देन ऑफ फ्यू हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ समटाइम्स फॉर जोक्स इजंट इट हां सो कृष्ण सेड टू रुक्मिणी ये रुक्मिणी व्हाट डिड यू एक्सेप्ट मी एज हस्बैंड Your father and brother were invited to see Subal. Huh? Yes, King. I am a girl's cow, her boy. A mere cow, her boy. Why did you ask? Accept me? Huh? You have committed some mistake by accepting me as your husband. Now there is time. You think of. This is Krishna was cutting jokes with his wife Rukmini. But Rukmini became afraid. Oh, why? Krishna is saying this thing. Shall he leave me? You see, there is fear. Mega's love is not fear. The next is Jnana and Ishwar. Some of them. Thank you. Whole class is in English for you.